Let's do this. Yo guys, this is Soul 5 welcome back to the newest video. Sorry if I look a little sweaty, I literally just got back from the gym and figured I'd hop into a video, cut out all the BS, and get straight to this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it already, be sure to check the card up top. It's probably gonna be there. Let's see. Which way would I be facing? That way? I don't know, check the card up there, up there. It's in one of the corners. It's, it's gonna pop up, you're gonna see it. All right, so I'm a sweaty mess. My hair probably looks like crap again. Notice that in the intro of the last video that uh, my hair looked like garbage. Probably still, I, I can't see it. So I'm just gonna assume it looks like garbage. We're keeping the hat on. All right, so today's video idea comes from a girl named Kylie. So Kylie and I were talking in my DMs on Twitter. She was asking if I did YouTube and I was like, yeah, a little, of course, because you know, I do, it's in my bio and everything on Twitter. Little plug, if you guys haven't hit it already, go down in the description, follow my Twitter. You guys will see some pretty interesting tweets. I had a person yesterday tell me I had fire tweets. I tweeted out a fire emoji and then quoted it saying, Ha, huh, this is a fire tweet. So uh, if you want to see more trash like that, be sure to follow my Twitter. Anyways, she said she wanted to be a YouTuber too. So if you're watching this, this video is for you. Now let me go back and read the DMs just so I get everything correct. All right, so it went like this. It's awesome, I want to start a channel, but I'm anxious about it. I gotta start somewhere, it's way better with time. I've been doing this for almost two years and it's definitely a lot better than when I first started. If you guys haven't subscribed already and you go to my channel, my actual channel, you'll see the first video I ever made as my channel trailer. I like to have that as a thing that people see first, that way everything after is exponentially better. She said, I suppose, and I have camera equipment and all that shit, I just need to gain the courage to do it. I said, I'll actually sit down and address the anxiety for you and others if you would like. She said, that would be amazing. I said, I'll do it ASAP. Next day, I'm making this video. And my grandparents just got home. They've been in Arkansas visiting my great grandmother. It was her 85th birthday. So they're probably gonna come in at some point or hear me talking, but this is part of the video title. You have to address the anxiety of being a YouTuber or starting YouTube. So, whenever I first started, if you guys watch my first video, it's kind of obvious that I was a bit shy, held back, and now I'm a lot more forward. I might not be making as many videos, but I'm slowly pushing it, as you guys can see. I'm actually trying to have a set schedule of go to school, go to the gym, come home, make a video. So, we're gonna see how that works, kind of do a test week. I'm gonna try to upload daily, I got a lot of time to, so. That's the anxiety that comes with it. Whenever you're a starting YouTuber, you face a lot of criticism. Even if it's not real criticism and people aren't messaging you, the fact that people could be messaging you, commenting in your comment section, leaving dislikes, like, all of those get to you at some point. And if they don't, then congrats, you've completely skipped the anxiety step of being a starting YouTuber and you're on your way to success if you keep it long enough. I faced a lot of things personally through criticism because I was, of course, overweight. I'm still currently overweight in the scientific aspect of what a 19 year old boy should be. One second, I'll be back. Okay, I had to fix my camera. Hopefully it doesn't blur out again last, like last time. Where'd I leave off? Oh yeah, facing anxiety and comments and stuff. A lot of things can get to you mentally whenever you see a number like I don't know, let me check my last video for instance. I got I got 35 views, which isn't bad, and six likes, so it's like every fifth person pretty much liked the video, and seven comments counting my replies and everything, of course. So if I was gonna let that get to me, I'd be like, oh, I have 1,600 subscribers and 35 views. That's a couple hundred in active people. But then you gotta think, logically, people have lives, and on Sunday and everything, when the video goes up, People aren't always going to be able to see it first off, notifications, whenever people have post notifications, they get all messed up, so it's kind of hard. There's a lot of th factors that come in, but whenever you're paying attention to the number and the likes to dislikes, luckily for that video I don't have any dislikes yet, I'm gonna knock on wood. Those numbers can really get to you if you aren't sound in where you're at. I don't really care about the numbers. Cool, if they rise, it's awesome, if they dip. It's okay, people come and go. It's kind of something you have to face. You can have a lot of anxiety as a starting YouTuber, starting out and trying to think of ideas. That's one thing that I do, I just kind of wing it as like, I didn't have a full, the only thing I knew i talked talk about in this video was anxiety. Having this, I just put my camera up, literally up on my monitor with a tripod and started talking, kind of off the top, cut out the things that I think make sense and then post it to YouTube. Hopefully you guys kind of link up with that. That's how it goes. I don't really have a set plan. Even whenever I'm doing gaming videos, I just kind of go with whatever happens. If something cool happens, it does. If it doesn't, then kind of sucks, but you know, that's what editing's for. You cut out all the dead space or the things that aren't funny getting a discord notification okay see i could have just been like oh no whole video is messed up everything but editing so i might even cut out that section you guys won't even know what happened so that's part of it when you're having anxiety for making a video 
just think, take your time. If you got a lot of space on your camera, you can record for as long as you need. That's why I check my camera to see if everything's going well. And then whenever you're editing, cut it up to what you think is the best and then get better with time every upload. Like I said, if you check my first video, and you see my progress. I've obviously gotten better in every aspect of it, talking, editing, coming up with video ideas, even though I just kind of wing it whenever. Things all get better with time, and that's kind of how I approached this message that I received about the whole anxiety of starting YouTube. If you're having a problem just sitting down and getting it done, it's one of those things where if you want to do it, you just have to do it, and you kind of have to feel your way through it. It's gonna be a bunch of waves of really crap times, and really good times, so you just kind of gotta sit back, relax, Take your time, produce what you think is your best content, look at your past videos or take into effect what other people have made and then just make yourself better. And then enough time, you'll have the perfect content that you want. And sometimes you might not even know, you might follow a different path and you think what you're doing now is gonna be what you're doing and you think it's great, but then in a couple years, you're gonna look back and be like, man, that sure is different. Hopefully that addressed everything. If you guys have something you want me to talk about, go down in the comment section below. I think I'm gonna start doing these more often and then doing gaming videos and stuff whenever I just feel like, you know, playing games. But this is kind of what I'm feeling today after getting home from the gym. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please go down, hit that comment section, like, hit the notification bell as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.